Someone said to me the other day, mobile homes are a bad investment. Not really. Come along with me today. I'm going to explain the economics of how mobile home financing will give you $35,000 in cash in 10 years. Pay off a mortgage of someone you actually like. You. Hey, it's your big buddy, Brad. Ken wants me to go photograph this single wide today, and I'm glad to do it, but it's crappy out. The weatherman promised me, and you know weathermen never lie. I'm going to pray that it's going to clear up later, and we're going to go out there. I'm sure it will. I'm going to explain to you the economics of this brand new single wide. Now, it might not be your cup of tea, but if you want to learn how the actual economics work on a brand new single wide so that you can live mortgage-free in 10 to 12 years, you probably want to stick around. Like, subscribe, comment below, but don't leave. We're going to have some fun anyway. You know how everyone has a pet project. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone. It's just one of them things that you want to do. This is a house that I wanted to do. I wanted to put this front porch. This is called the Sideline. It's one of my favorite models. It's our number one bestseller. It's got a front porch. I wanted to put this house on this lot in front of this beautiful tree. This is a Jefferson pear or a, not, it's not a Bradford pear. These are a lot stronger. It's a hybrid of. And they're the first ones to get the leaves in the spring. The last one leave, lose leaves in the winter, as you can see. And it is a bird sanctuary. We've got one in front of our house about this far away. And it is, uh, Cindy calls it the bird condo. A million birds in there, so you always have something to listen to and wake up to. Josh did a fantastic job on this, on this porch. It's got really slow risers for old, fat, and drunk people like me. I'm only kidding. I'm, I don't stay drunk. I'm just teasing. But when you get a little bit older, a little bit, you know, there, uh, it's nice to have those <laughs> slow rises. Okay, price. I'm gonna, I'll hit the price with you right away. Five twenty-three a month for this house for ten to thirteen years, depending on your credit. If if I can get you, if you've got a six sixty score or higher, I can probably get you hooked up with one of our mortgage guys, and they can lower your payment approximately. This is just me and you talking because we're friends. We can lower the payment approximately. $150 a month, but it's 20 years instead of 12 or 13. So I don't know if you're ahead or not. Depends on if you're really monthly payment driven or not. And we all are. Me too, right? Cindy wants a new truck. I go, how much is it going to cost a month? I don't think, well, I have to have, you know, $80,000 cash. Who's got $80,000 cash for a truck, right? So of course you're going to finance it. You're going to finance this home too. It's a doll. This is called Bayou Blue, and it's really, really, really close to UK Blue. Well, of course, you're in Campbellsville here, so it's more U of L territory. But that's okay. We all get along. There's that heat pump. Fantastic. What it's doing is it's pulling the heat and out of the pulling the heat out of the air. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's how it works. We put shingles down here so you don't have to get the weed eater too close. This is a clean out in case you ever have a big backup or something like that. The plumber doesn't have to come in the house with all the snakes and all that jazz. This is Galvalum skirting, weed eater proof, guarantee it. And it's got a 40 year warranty on the uh, on rust. So you never have to worry about rust. Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah, this is just scrap that doesn't belong in there. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's all set up if you wanted to put a uh, ceiling fan out here. Hunter has uh, fantastic ceiling fans that are all weather. You can get them on Amazon. They're maybe $129. And Josh will put one up there for you if you want it. The wind came by and knocked the handle off, so I'm going to put a new handle on for you. It, it, it knocked it off because we don't have the daggone uh, spring on there yet. Beautiful quick set, lock set there with beautiful handle. It's got the little peephole. And now you can see why everyone likes the side line. There we go. I had to just give it a little shot there. It's got two clear stories. And of course the uh, Hunter fan. They're the best, they're silent. Fantastic. Real tilt in windows. I don't have to show you those. I've showed you those before. I just had sold shoulder soldiers. Why do I always say soldier surgery? 
shoulder surgery. It's hard to say it really. And uh, I just can't lift it with and hold the camera and all that stuff at once. I love this color combination. Our buddy Blake at Clayton, he's one of the top salesmen in the country for Clayton. He hooked us up with this, and I really think it's a fantastic combo. I think this is called Denver. It's beautiful. When I was a little kid, I'm sure you can relate, we had ponies and a horse, and uh, that was like the color of my saddle, and I just love, love, love that. And this floor is beautiful. Now, it's lighter than what it's showing up here. I guarantee it, but it's so busy. You can throw a throw rug on there if you wanted something a little softer in the living room, but you'd never see any dirt on that rascal. And that's important if you're an active person, right? You don't be cleaning the house all the time. Fridge freezer with ice maker, and that's the good ice maker. That'll make ice a lot faster than the, the, uh, the new GE type. I don't know what is their deal. It's like four hours to make six cubes. This thing will pump out 12 cubes every, uh, every off, you know, so often. You got the restaurant dealio here. You can do both. Or just put it up like that. Pretty swanky. Hey, I want to reach out to my friend Gail Walker and my other friend Love, Laugh, and Live. Love you guys both. One of these days, we're going to have you come on down, show you a place, and you're going to fall in love with it. Big pantry. This one does not have center shelves, mid, what they call mid shelves, because they didn't send them. So we're going to have them send them, and Josh is going to put them in for you. So no worries. Lots and lots of cabinet. All right, so here's the entertaining area. You like it? If you like it, let me know in the comments below. Sure appreciate it. And give me a like and a subscribe. It helps so much. It helps the algorithm. You know what the algorithm is for YouTube? It's that people watch it and like it and share it. So that's the best thing you could do for us. Heat pump, big deal. It's a big deal. It's gonna save you 100 to $150 a month on your electric bill. No toaster wires, just for emergency backup. Everybody wants to see, oh, no laundry? Here's the laundry. Of course there's laundry. I haven't seen a house, I've been doing this for 39 years. I haven't seen a house that doesn't have laundry in it yet. I mean, maybe one from a thousand years ago. You got any kind of issue? Shut off the whole house here. Bang. Main water shut off. Turn it back on. I'm going to leave it off for now, actually. But it need to be on. Well, better not, because it's got to have to do something with the water heater. And I'll let Josh figure that out. Bedroom number two. Beautiful closet, of course. Eco B. That's going to save you time and money. And it also hooks up to your phone. Hi, Eco B3. You just touch it like this. And then you can go up and down and all that jazz. So we're going to put it at 57. That's what we're going to set it on. It's 67 in here right now, 35% humidity. And the heat's on. That's how you can tell. Pretty slick. Good combination. Great color combination. This looks so sharp with this. In my humble opinion. Tell me what you think. I need to know. This house is going to be about $523 a month for 10 to 13 years. And then plus lot rent. Lot rent's going to be in the um, 245 zone, something like that. And this is a university town, three miles out to the lake, 8,200 acre lake. I'll put it here. This is the master boudoir with the uh, walk-through closet. You can go in there and walk out that way. Come out, the grandkids love it. 8,200 acre lake is three miles down the road. Uh, about two miles out to, well, there's two Kroger's. You can go here to this Kroger about two miles and about that, that way, the other Kroger about two miles. And uh, there's hotels up there, Lowe's, all the shopping, all the big stuff. Let's see, are there mid shelves in here? No, there are not. I promise there will be. Period, end of story. All this is extra. The pantry in here is extra. The medicine chest is extra. The double vanities are extra. The shelf is extra. The trim around the, the um, uh, what do you call that? The mirror. It's Captain Brad. Anyway. How was that? Was that cheesy enough? Another clear story. So it lets a lot of light in. It's nice. Plenty of light in here, and that's with the lights off. 
All LED lights can save you a ton of money. Now, if you're saying to yourself, well, 523, it's not comfortable for me. I understand, no big deal. Here's what we're gonna do. If your credit score is 660 or above, I can get you financed most likely with a 660 or higher score. I just wanna talk for just a couple seconds on what a manufactured home is. Is it your forever home? Well, it might be, depends on where you are, right? So if you're a starter, you need a starter home, it's perfect. If you're an ender and you need a home that's very low maintenance and very efficient and inexpensive, this is perfect. If you just don't wanna live with a mortgage, this is perfect. But they have these tiny homes and yeah, they're cute, but you're looking at like a hundred grand and then you need an $80,000 truck to pull them around. It's just on a literally a landscape trailer frame. That's not what this is. Yes, it comes in on a frame and wheel so you can move it. But this has got like two by 10 raft, I'm sorry, two by 10 joists and three quarter inch uh, OSB flooring and all that stuff that you find in a regular site built house. Now, let me tell you, this is what I hear all the time. They're like, oh, I would never live in a mobile home. They depreciate. Well, everything depreciates, including a site built house. The only thing that the government tells us doesn't depreciate is just bare land. Let's do real quick math. Stick with me here. You buy this house, we sell them to you wholesale because we want them here in our community, right? We want new homes and we want our lots filled. So we sell these homes wholesale. So it's our cost, cost. I'll show you the invoice. I'll show you how much it costs to do the skirting, to do the deck, to do the heat pump and all that stuff. By the time you're all done, it's X dollars. Let's say 54,000, I think this one is. If you buy this house, you're looking at 500 and some dollars a month, 520 something a month for 10 to 12 years. In 12 years, this house is paid off. Now that 500 and some dollars a month stops. Now it's not eight or $900 for a car payment, like a lot of car payments are. It's $523 for a house payment. What happens in 12 years? This thing is 12 years old. So it's 2020 now, this is, a, by the way, this is a 2021, but it's 2020 now, let's move back 12 years, 2008. We're still selling 2008s regularly for $30,000, $35,000. So you had a place to live, now you've got a free and clear, free and clear $35,000 home you can sell. You get to keep all that money. So what are you gonna do with it when you sell it? Maybe you're gonna go and put a down payment out on a place in the country, Maybe you get a double wide, maybe a site built house, whatever. Let me tell you, it's not a terrible investment. When you have something paid off in about 12 years and then you get to keep the money or you get to live without a house payment. It's not a stupid idea. You buy a brand new house, same thing. It'll go down in value for the first few years. Why? Because the new ones have better stuff and newer stuff. Now you gotta wait five, 10 years, then the value goes up, yes. But it's not a silly idea. It's a great deal for some, it's a great deal for most, but you gotta be a little bit open-minded and think a little bit farther in the future. And what you have to think of is, how soon can I get it paid off? How soon will I be living mortgage-free? If this property is right for you, perfect. Call the number right down here, that's Jen. She's our property manager, she will hook you up. If this property is not right for you, that's fine. Get on our home finder and tell us what it is. Maybe it's a farm, maybe it's a goat farm. Maybe, maybe you're looking for a waterfall property or you know, whatever, place to hunt and camp and fish on. Doesn't matter, we've got all different kinds of properties. Since 1981, we've been in real estate business and I wanna help you. Please like, subscribe and comment. It helps our channel so much. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now from Campbellsville, Kentucky. Where is that? I don't know. It's near the big lake. Ciao. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.